Thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita Music. And I'm so glad that you guys liked my、um, routine video. Five things, techniques to do. And I do every day, I practice. Make sure you don't want to practice too much. Also, you don't want to have any pain. If you have a pain, make sure you, know, you do this a little bit, you know,、um, <laughs> you know, relax your hands and all that. But at the same time, today I thought maybe this will help you to understand, to become a better player. And one of those things that、um, a lot of people don't, just don't notice. And material is right. And Position is right, note is right, but sometimes point is missing. And I want to have five things that you should not do. So this one may be called please don't play this way or something like that. Don't practice you know, this routine every day. It makes you really bad guitar play or make you this exercise. Or this way really makes you stay the same place. That's the problem, right? So the number one. Number one problem is noisy, but you just don't know it. So let me show you. Say, like, if we play major scale, right? So this is a bad example. Do you hear? One more time. Okay, what's the problem? Well, you're not muting by right hand. So, like C, D, not C, D. <laughs> This is it. So, I thought. See, already I'm muting every note after I play. This is correct. No noise, right? The problem is, for example, I give you an idea. Like this E,、uh, e, e string. Already, if I play this one, you don't hear noise, but most people don't mute. So, this A, it's rings. It's basically the same note, like rings together. It's interesting, huh? So, if I play this, B, yes, B rings, but this one, B for that. So, if you play this, or that note, you don't notice, but this note, you see, rings, so you have to mute it. Same way. How about check? No problem. No problem. Watch this. See? Rings. Same thing. Oops. Rings. B. C. No. No problem. C sharp. No problem. A. Rings. So, even this top note. One more time, bad example. If you practice like that, you sound like that. And the problem is, if you don't play loud enough, not bright enough, you have too much reverb, covers everything. You just don't notice today or next week, next month, next year. Maybe two years later, you sound the same, exactly the same, I can guarantee. And so, you, you want to change that. Okay, next one. No dynamics or control and picking. So, this is、um, my etude from a solo guitar etude book, right? And so, three on six. And bad example. Here you go. Notice all together. So, note separation is not right. It just p l a y too too much and the note is all together. So, if you have two notes playing, bottom notes you want to pick a little softer, but also you want to make sure two notes are not together. So, like a correct way is.
So right there, all right. So you know, together, you don't go. Then that's too much pressure, already too many noise. Then make effort to figure it out. Maybe two fingers. Roll your finger. Now here it's important. Most people play this etudes and then bottom notes gets louder because bottom notes has more thicker string, more volume, so you have to use dynamics control. So in order to achieve this one, all you have to do is play slower. Play slower, play clear and make sure more treble, less bass, and no reverb. Okay, so next one. Yes, this is a typical one too, like a, you know, swing group, but a little too fast, and um, too many, like, distraction, like a, too many, um, uh, like, you know, uh, feels and stuff. So let me try, right? Okay, so this is a bad example, okay? All right, so they're too fast. A one, Two, a one, two, three, So sometimes um, it has happened to uh, my tape lesson students, you know, from Japan, and everybody does a great job copying. But what happened is a lot of people copy um, my etudes or uh, my instructional um, material from books or DVD, and those are really made for in general, you know, for everyone, so that. Tempo setting is slightly, usually faster, just because you have to fit in a book format or DVD, right? And so, if you take that information too straight without arranging, then sometimes those tempo were a little bit too fast for someone, like this case. And then, not knowing when to stop or how to change. So. Sometimes people think, oh, maybe faster is sounds good. Well, yeah, faster sometimes sounds good. But it's a little different, you know. Um, you have to do, first, you don't want to do so much fills and stuff. Just a simple, so that your rhythm skill will increase. So, so that uh, my suggestion is like a little bit take it slower. So if the uh, suggestion says maybe 62, maybe why not 55 or 58, and then it's kind of similar feel, but less, um, less using adding uh, feels. So a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Fills like that simple. This way, when you work on solo, you have more space. Very important. Okay, 
Right. So next one, say say someone uh, want to do uh, now solo. You know, maybe making uh, solo. All right. But then, so this scenario is that someone who study blues, maybe copy a little bit BB King, a little bit Stevie Ray Vaughan, maybe one song each or like that. And then knowledge is everything come from books or internet and scale form, triads or arpeggios. So many things like uh, like that. And then not so much um, pay attention about the rhythm, like a language, you know, rhythm. So almost like yeah, you can hear it, <laughs> but this one a little bit difficult to play because I, I can't hear like that because I changed. So let me do best I can to express this. Okay, here we go. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Like that so so what's happening is uh, that just like the you know uh, arpeggio I teach arpeggio but I always tell students once you can play this you understand never ever play after that because you don't play like that on a performance nobody play like that but when you learn you have to learn just a little bit you know so once you can play that if you can play other thing that's enough you don't play so like very important you learn certain place you have to stop so that inviting something else so the problem was thinking about the too much shape also you hear no rest so this is a danger of a guitar playing you can sustain forever and still you can breathe because you don't breathe in <laughs> guitar <laughs> See, this is all correct. Right? So like a rhythm. You have to have a rhythm. So what you need to do is maybe use triads or maybe flat seven or some idea like... like. See, I use more like a phrasing. So... To have a little bit more quorum response so that's why that like, even this like you know simple you know so maybe you should try play something you decide something simple like that a one two three and then make space like that, you know? And then here, sometimes augmented triads. The other day I did uh, on a guitar wisdom, augmented triads or uh, diminished triad so you learn then study and put this into playing but you have to practice a little bit about the timing so timing means should we play 
down beat, end of one, end of two, I don't know. It's even this first one, a one, two, three. So you have to work on one, two, three, pa, 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 two, three, pa, 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 pa. So you go, ta, 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 pa, 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 pa. You have to have a subdivision. You can now just, the third, you know, you cannot just guess the way because then that's not good enough. Something like that, okay? So I hope you understand. And then here, any question about these um, topic that we did, okay, so far, noise issue in a major scale or any scale, and then no dynamics playing, and I did fast swing playing, fast way, maybe I say obnoxious rhythm guitar. How's that in a fast playing? Or well, no space arpeggio, no space, just all correct, but now we're breathing like a conversation. And last one, it's like, it's like, it's happened sometime. It's just about the dynamics of people, just some people just don't hear it. Or maybe it could, guitar is not, you know, um, making enough. Um, Dynamics. So I'm. So this one, I have to save this my good pick. So I I pick another pick. It's just already used. This is one like my pick. But anyway. So um, yeah. And just in case I can repeat. So I re, uh, just. Oops. I, I drop it. So somebody play like this. You know. Okay. So like G and then maybe C like that. But but maybe like you know. Okay. This this is hard to do. Okay. Here we go. No dynamics, holding a pick really hard. Okay, here we go. See? That's not good. So one more time. I can't even play that hard. I never play that hard, but see, Picus goes like this, <laughs> and then uh, trash. But you have to play like this. That's nothing to do with the lesson. What is that? 